What's up? It's your boy amateur pro home chef Nathaniel Levinson. Let's talk about onions. So onions are in the same family as garlic, and uh, there's a lot of different things. But I mean, when we typically think about onions, we're thinking about, you know, the the, the standard yellow or white onion, uh, maybe a red onion. Um, right? Onions are a root, so they, these are a vegetable, not a fruit. Right, so we want to get into distinctives. This is the root that grows underground. Um, as you, you know, if you have a green onion, you can see, you know, it's the it's the root stem, and then the leaves grow out from it. Um, but you know, different the different uh, varieties of onions. All onions have a kind of punchy, tangy, sharp flavor. That's because there are a lot of sulfurous compounds in that, similar to garlic um, and, and other things like that. So you have your typical yellow onion, your white onion, your red onion. These all have subtly different flavors. And you kind of just got to try them and find out. I, I find that uh, red onion is generally best uh, for raw applications. The yellow and white are best for cooked applications. Um, but honestly, you can more or less interchange them freely. Um, red onions, sometimes if you cook them too long, can get a funky flavor. So I would avoid long cooking processes uh, with red onions. Um, again, better for fresh ones. Um, we also have pearl onions. Pearl onions are, are a different thing from, they're not just little, <laughs> they're not just little onions. They are actually a different plant. Um, you don't see a whole lot of uses for these other than in some martinis, right? People put po cocktail onions in them, but you can like pickle these and they're nice little treats. Um, and you can, th th there are applications for those, but those are kind of few and far between. Generally you're gonna, speaking, you're gonna find um, for regular onions. Uh, green onions, obviously you, you do eat the whole part, um, kind of, uh, little variation of flavor. These aren't like a really, really strong onion flavor, but they're like, they do distinctively taste like onions, right? Um, so green onions are, are great for cooking and for finishing. Um, shallot is one of my favorite things. It's kind of uh, sort of halfway between uh, onion and garlic in terms of flavor. Um, it's pretty sharp, distinctive, but really tasty. It, it is, it is again, I like, like halfway between onion and garlic, but distinct to both of them. So shallots are like really nice. Uh, mince them up, put them in like saute in, in something really good. Now, I will say shallots make me cry while I'm chopping them more than onions do. So there's some pretty intense uh, sulfur compound stuff going on when you cook shallots. Just keep that in mind. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is Vidalia onions or sweet onions. Now, um, you could not tell just by looking at this whether this is a regular yellow onion or a, or a sweet onion. And the reason is because they're actually the same thing. What makes a sweet onion a sweet onion is actually the soil that it's grown in. So the soil in Vidalia, Georgia has an unusually low sulfur content. So when the onion is gr grows, the, the plant is unable to make these sulfur compounds that are kind of defense mechanisms. They can't make those because there's just not enough sulfur in the soil. So growing that onion in uh, Vidalia, Georgia, and there are other places, I think Walla Walla, Washington, and there are some in Hawaii, uh, Maui, sweet onions, I think is a thing. Um, if you're in a location where your sulfur, soil sulfur is really low, you will grow sweet onions, you just will. But if you take a Vidalia onion and you transplant it, let's say in North Carolina somewhere, it will grow up and it will be a normal onion because in that case, it's not actually the plant varietal, it's what's in the soil, which is kind of sort of an interesting thing there. But sweet onions, again, they, they won't cause you to tear up as much. They have much less sharp flavors because there's no there's much less sulfur in the ground, so it's not making as many of those sulfurous compounds that kind of lend to the super oniony uh, sharpness that we associate with the onion family. So until next time, I'm your boy, amateur pro home chef Nathaniel Levinson. An onion is like an ogre.